Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Mario in the Morning. The one I want to talk about today, the movie that I just watched, that I want to discuss, is called Psycho Sharks. Psycho Sharks. Or possibly Jaws in Japan. It's got two titles, Jaws in Japan or Psycho Sharks. Did I love this movie? Well, here's the problem with it. Um, it wasn't about sharks. That was a real problem with it. It wasn't about sharks. Um, it, it, it had maybe two or three movies shots about sharks that had a shark in it two or three shots in the whole movie um which is kind of weird considering that's the title of the movie psycho sharks what it's really about and maybe something gets lost in translation here uh but even the japanese title is jaws in japan uh it's a japanese film and it's about a group of girls that go to the beach and it's sort of just Sets up like a, you know, a summer teen beach movie, horror movie. We've all seen those. The setup's not bad. It sort of has a found footage feel. One of the girls has a camcorder, and then later on some other girls are viewing the footage. So the story's kind of told like out of order in a weird way. And then we kind of get suspicious about the strange neighbor boy that they meet and things like that. Look, I mean, the setup's not bad. I, I, I really wanted to enjoy it. But like I said, the problem is that it's not a shark movie. It really only has, and this is not an exaggeration, three shots that include the shark. One shot of the fin earlier in the middle of the movie on the beach, and at the end, you see the shark by the rocks. And then it's this weird CGI shark that almost looks like a megalodon, but I really don't have any reason as to why there would be a megalodon. There's no scientific cloning or it comes up from a trench in the ocean like other megalodon related movies it's just a megalodon that appears out of nowhere giant the size of the whole pier it seems i i don't know why again maybe something was lost in translation but had it been any other sort of real shark that exists in our time period and not an extinct shark i would believe it but out of nowhere comes a megalodon and just eats everybody on the pier. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, but like I said, I, I really wanted to enjoy it. I mean, it, it kind of plays off like a psychological thriller as opposed to a shark movie. And I mean, I suppose I can compare it to The Shallows the best as I can. I, and I enjoyed The Shallows for what it was. It was just a, a shark thriller. A girl alone on a beach on a surfboard in a rock, trying to survive a shark attack. I enjoyed it for what it was. And this was sort of trying to be that, but it wasn't. It was this bizarre, stalkery shark thing going on. There was some stalker. There was some jealousy issues. There was a lot of that going on. So as a shark adventure, does it work? No, no, it, it fails miserably. As a offbeat psychological thriller with a odd shark-related twist ending, does it work? Also not. I mean, watch it. Enjoy it. The links are below if you're looking for some fun Japanese teen beach horror action. But other than that, Psycho Sharks or Jaws in Japan. Enjoy it if you dare. And until next time, I'm Mario, and thank you for watching Mario in the Morning.